Hello everyone, we are back. Once again, I am being off camera because honestly, this game uses pretty much all of the HUD and I want to keep as much of it out of as much of the, the HUD in frame uh, or at least unobscured as possible. So, as of so for those watching the archive, as of the date of the stream, the patch has just come out for or been out for a few days for Mass Effect Andromeda. I believe it has installed by now. The last installment, I completed the first EOS Vault, and now we are going to figure out what to do next. Okay, let's actually just take a look. So, establish an adpost on appropriate site, give radiation time to clear. So, it looks like I have to head back, actually, to the Hyperion. Rather, to, um... The Nexus, and... Let them know that the facility is open for colonization. Okay. And we give the radiation time to clear. So basically, this mission is kind of on hold. So the time to come back to the Nexus and deal with that mission. All other stuff. And also, once the radiation clears, I can actually then start doing the Bang on Rocks missions. Alright, four points I can spend. Okay, I don't have a submachine gun class ability. You know what, I'm actually going to put some points into Barrier to boost my shields. I've already put like a, a handful of points here already. It doesn't do a lot of of boosts, but it does some. It's alright, I have a stupid cat. Just a moment. Pardon me, Miss Kitty. The one minus for me keeping myself off the camera is you can't is I can't have a kitty in frame. And we all know that you like that the internet love cat loves cats. From skill changes, go to Aura, she has two points, can't put in, don't have enough to put in anything yet. Vetra, two points, not enough to put into anything yet. Um, let it just boost her health by 25%, which actually makes her more survivable, so that's good. And you have two points. Actually, let's put this point in here to boost your shields by 25%. You need that. And then we'll level her up more next time we get points. Okay, inventory. Anything else? Melee, I have a new weapon. The Cryo Gauntlet. 200 melee damage versus 275. The Omni Blade does, is, is more useful. Armor, Ooh, wrong one. Armor, I have a new fusion mod. Fusion mod of shielding. And it's just plays the most common armor. It drops my max health by 50%, but boosts by shields from 25. Um, I don't like that trade-off, because usually I end up getting... My shields keep going down, and, me, and then I get shot up, and I'd rather not get shot up so much. And that's what I got for now. Overdrive pack immediately reloads all weapons, recharges all powers, and temporarily boosts accuracy and damage reduction. That is nice to have. Um, I still have a whole bunch of shield capacitors and incendiary ammo I haven't used yet, so I'll leave those equipped for now. Armor blueprints have upgrades for all the initiative weapons. 
and oops, darn it. Can't make a lot of this stuff yet. Um, the initiative legs, initiative armor appears to give me like not a lot of a boost, two percent for a lot of stuff. Um, Pathfinder level two, which is N seven armor. Um, the Maverick stuff. Okay, this is rare. Um, that is common, but this is rare. Headshot respawn bonus plus more ammo for my guns. Nice. Although, admittedly, once I start building weapons with the um, Mass Effect 1 core, there's going to be less of an issue. But the headshot weak point bonus is, is nice to have. Um, have skirmisher bonus, more headshot, more ammo, more damage. Nice. For the chest piece, for the breastplate. Headset. Even more weak points bonus. Spare ammo isn't as useful, but the... But the uh, damage to the weak points is always nice to have. Um, Pathfinder, this is this is N7 armor. This is your shepherd armor. Damage resistance, weapon accuracy, damage resistance, weapon accuracy, and power restoration. Useful being that I'm playing a biotic. Need more iron, need more cadmium, but I almost have enough to make that. Oh, don't have platinum though. No! Lots of og shots though. These take a lot of platinum. But the damage resistance and weapon accuracy bonuses are nice. Take Platinum. Initiative Arms Level 1. That is what I'm using right now. Blueprints, Biotic Amp. Re-11. That's a lot of big boost for melee damage. And I almost have enough to make that. So that's one to go for. Carnifex level 2, I have that. Um, I think I've made that. I'll have to check to see what I have equipped. Uh, no, it's slightly lower than what I got. Actually, so I actually have a Carnifex equipped, but that has a... I think I have a mods on it, though. Um... More ammo, more accuracy. I can use mods to boost the damage. Disciple shotgun. The compared to my Matic. Big damage boost, but useful. Shot can be something to do carry around with me once I have a second slot. Sniper rifle, same general thing. Once I get three slots, I'll go probably go shotgun, pistols, uh, assault rifle, sniper rifle. Omniblade 2, that is 211. Take a lot of silicon, nickel, and vanadium, which I have none of. Um, 311 for the biotic amp. So, a common thing. 311 for Omniblade 2. Thanks, pistol 2, sniper rifle, the rifles. Amp 1, I don't think this does as much as my current. That was my uh, current um, melee. I'm sorry. I'm, no, actually, yeah, 275 looks like it's standard for the grade 1 of melee weapons. Or at least the Omni Blade. Nomad blueprints. Ah, I got more stuff. So. Agility mode. Can't build yet. But it basically up gives me one more driver mode. Let's me power slide and drift. Defensive fortification. Shield strength and frame integrity. Emergency shield discharge. Basically blast enemies away and give me some room. Oop. Get back there. Improve suspension. So faster in four-wheel drive mode. And vertical thrust upgrade, jump higher. 
And then... Materials... And the gel regulator, when I craft an item, boost my health. And then the miscellaneous crap. Sell all of that. BB! It's whatever way. She's got it by herself, and now I'm respecting her space, so I'll talk to her once I get on board the ship. Profile. The impulsive actions often speak louder than words. Okay. Or in Fauna, we have Overview. Basically, wildlife is adapted to, to the Scourge in some form or another. The Remnant creators something may so obviously they something made it we don't know who they are but they have very advanced technology and they have engineered much of the world and they have significant ability to research worlds or modify worlds scourge the mysterious dark matter tendrils it is drawn to remnant structures on planets but we're not sure why and it came from somewhere. Building Helios. Terraforming. Basically building better worlds. Actually building better worlds. Not in the Wayland Yutani. We're going we're exploring exploding worlds for bioweapons to sell for money to God knows who. However, the Remnant Vault, Remnant also has technology for terraforming, which we're taking advantage of. Alright. So you know what? Let's go aboard ship. I think we can go talk to PB. And everything else. Ascent is go. <clears throat> Leaving at home. All clear. Augments. Okay, here we go. So, do that at the development center on the Tempest. And I can use the augments for rank 2 items or better. That explains why I couldn't put it in the guns that I in the guns I just built. They were rank 1 weapons. When I build my rank 2 card effects, I can install the um For that once I installed my rank to uh, build my rank two current effects, for example, then I can install a legacy hardware on it. Okay, where is PB's orders? Oh, PB, right over there. Oops, wrong turn. All the way, apparently. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the next. Nice. Season. This is a nice out of the way place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home while I'm with you, at least. You know what? My version of Sarah is a archaeologist. If the background is Xeno archaeology, I think I can see her and PB heating it off fairly well from a roleplay standpoint. I think I want to go with, I might go with a PB and Sarah as a couple. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that. Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, 
while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that? Raising. Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Hmm. So go snark to snark or be professional and pragmatic? Snark for snark. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me and she woke up a different oh. person. I've slept That's enough. a bummer. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Hmm. 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 Let's go. Be skeptical or take her at face value. That's just the one thing you want me to know about you. Let's start with that then. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. <sighs> Tell you what. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love. Actually, I probably that. will. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Actually, I think I read a bunch of stuff in my... Scrounge. No other... PB... Well, and you push back you a little. Initiative, no associates, PB. Lasaria Basale. So apparently she should still be in stasis. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on? That's right. Next question. Oh, I... Like, I have the scrounge, I think. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early Aha. Uh -huh. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around... Bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get? Wow, that wasn't down? quite the space. Not much than I expected. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself, and the flirts will flow. All right. So, how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Me too. Your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise Rack me. Rack isn't on board yet. Is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? <laughs> All for it. Oh, is it my turn to talk? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's an Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the room? Okay. Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated That's fair. It's the same thing probably with Sarah and that. the There's so much to um, discover. I want to be the first to figure it out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Do I have any remnant tech I can give you? Hmm. 
Not really. Most of this is actually our stuff. There's the observer lenses. I can give you that. And the Vault Forged Relay. Hey, yeah. Uh, what's shaking? You mentioned you can't oh, right, this one. with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort? Right, because I came with father and I've twin. I've been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. Okay. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Still able to give it to, P to Phoebe. Things up for the old ground team before I left. Early for so many goodbyes. At least Liam's still here, and one rider. I look at my oh, the crafting materials, like research again. Artifex pistol. I need more iron and more Ezo, but I've almost got enough to make that. So close. All right, so research center, strike team missions. Save my game. All right, let's try. All right, let's figure out what's going on here because I'd like to do my strike team missions. Because I sent out a.